Hey everybody, this is Matt and we're back with another Mesh Modeler tutorial and in this one we're going to be creating a bank to flat churn uh, and it's actually going to be a half bank. So when you have a, um, a banked uh, tech piece, this is exactly half the height as one of these um, as one of these slopes. So that makes it really easy for us to um, basically scale this one vertically by 50%. Uh, so it will line up perfectly with our half bank. So to do this turn, uh, we're going to actually start with an existing piece. Um, and we're going to use this one here. So it's, I guess, one, seven, four, one. And so we're essentially going to connect it here and then deform it. So the, the angled part is in this, uh, is lined up with our bank. So we're going to go ahead and place this block. I generally like to delete, um, these pieces of it by just holding X and clicking on it. And then we're going to go ahead and, and form our custom turn here. So to do that, go to item mode and then create new item from selected block. And we're going to select um, this like flat to bank piece. Uh, it's important to start with these to get all the angles right. So the car drives on it really well. Uh, we'll go into the mesh settings, delete the collisions layer, and then click on the gears for the geometry layer. And then we're going to go ahead and um, you, you can click a few times. You can either select this specifically or double click a few times to uh, select just this face and then click the copy selection. And then I'm going to hit control a delete a couple times to delete everything that's there. Set the tool step to zero meters and go ahead and paste the selection. So this will put it exactly in the same spot. Then we're going to click this button, move selection to ground and we're going to scale it vertically by 50%. So you can click on uh, the scale, set the tool step to 50%, click this orange dot in the middle that's kind of aligned with the top of the item and just drag down and then that will scale it down 50%. The next step then is to click extrude selection. We'll set the tool step to two meters and just raise it up uh, two meters. So that gives our block a, a little thickness. Um, the next step now is to actually do the deformation to line it up perfectly with this. So we're going to use layers for that. So beyond creating like multiple geometry layers, you can do um, like translation and deformation layers as well. We're going to start with the scale. So we're going to first scale it um, three times along or the, so it'll be, you can set X to one, Y to one, and then Z to three. And so that's gonna essentially drag out our piece. So this way, when we deform it, it's um, it's all gonna work out really nicely. And we want this block to be in the same, to have the same starting location. So we're going to create another trans, new layer, which is a translation layer. And we're going to translate it along the Z axis, um, 64. So this will move where the starting point of the block is. And then the next thing we want to do is create a, a deformation layer to essentially drag this to where we want it to be. So we'll set the tool step to 16 meters and we'll just to zoom in right here. So you can see there's a green dot and like a lime green or yellow green dot. So this green dot is used if you want to essentially like um, create a new like thing that you can deform. So you could, you could use that to do something crazy, but in our case, we're going to want to click on this, um, this yellow green dot, and then we can click and drag it to move it. So we're going to drag it basically into the right location. And I'm just going to kind of eyeball it here. So we want it to end up right in the middle of that. So we'll just click this and drag it over. And then the last thing we need to do is rotate it. So you can rotate it using these three green dots, uh, depending on which way you want to rotate it. We're going to use this one on the right. And then when it turns purple, that means, you know, it's 90 degrees. So th like this angle would be off this well, now that it's purple, uh, it's perfectly 90 degrees. And so there we have it. So these are going to line up perfectly. So let's go ahead and save this item and then hit back. And then a few things we're gonna do here, we'll set the placement parameters. So we're gonna do a fly step of two, horizontal size of 32 and a vertical size of two. And then we're also gonna add an icon by clicking the plus next to icon, 
selecting automatic southeast so that now we can actually see what our item looks like in the editor and we'll hit back and now we can drag it in so if since we set the height and the placement parameter to two you can see when we scroll the mouse wheel up and down it basically goes two meters at a time so this should make it easy to place uh right along with our track and you can see that just to zoom in here so this lines up perfectly and then this end as well is going to uh, line up perfectly. So we'll go ahead and uh, drive on this item. So I already created an intro for this so we can watch, um, so we don't have to watch myself fail the tech turn a bunch of times. And there we have it. So that's how to create a flat to half bank turn in Trackmania. And one of the really useful things about this is if you want to change um, this item to do a different turn, Let's say we go ahead and save it as item two and go back into the mesh. We can just go edit the deformation layer and drag this to a different spot. So we could go and drag this, um, this light green dot over here. And now we have like a, a totally different turn. We don't have to go through all the steps again. Uh, we can just go put it in a different place. So thanks everybody for watching.